Hi there, this is M6RKY Mark, uh, giving you a small video um, showing you the difference between these uh, the Kevlar wire. Also I had a, a question whether the wire was coaxial or what it was made of. So I thought I'd construct this little video to, to enlighten you guys a little bit more. Um, there's two different types mainly. This is green stuff, the light, uh, st light colour, which is a lot more flexible. And it's uh, the outside is smooth. You've got this stuff which is um, slightly stiffer and uh, we'll see shortly the difference when I actually uh, strip some of the protective coating off. These originally were um, part of this kit that a, uh, is ex-British Army and it's marked off in meters with these uh, these little clips so basically they could put the dipole up in there if it was foggy or smoky even darkness they could still erect the antenna and still transmit it comes with uh, with um, string to suspend it with from the uh, from the tree or whatever you might. So this is one half of a dipole element. On the end of the wire, we've got a, a nice catch with a uh, a clip and the probe. Now these go into the uh, the dipole center we see here. So in goes the probe, and then you'd clip on the uh, dipole centre, so there's no tension there on the uh, on the wire itself. Um, and there you go. This one's BNC fed. Um, I'm not too sure the uh, what cable and everything they were using for the British Army, but um, I thought I'd just demonstrate there. This one here is made by uh, Raykel. In the next part of the video, I'll show you the. Uh, the insides of these different cables and uh, what I've been making out of them. Right, I've just trimmed a small bit of the uh, the outer off, and as you can see, uh, it's like stainless stainless braid inside, and uh, that's obviously where we get our conductance from. But if I can split it, you can see there. There's a yellow. Oh, the sun's coming out. See this yellow fibre inside, yeah? Well, that is Kevlar. Very, very strong stuff. Uh, I'll demonstrate later on in this video how hard it is to cut. Um, you won't do it with a normal pair of scissors. Um, sometimes you'll struggle with a Stanley knife. But, um, very, very strong stuff. You can cut through the uh, the outer easily. You can uh, you can cut through the stainless. But when it comes to this, you end up uh, quite a few chops. So obviously the, the properties of Kevlar is very very strong, it doesn't stretch, so um, you, you can really really pull your dipoles quite tight using this material. This was the uh, this is the type, the light green type, where the uh, the silver braid is all the way around the uh, the Kevlar band. I personally think this is the better type of the ante of the wire to get. Right, on to the next one. This is the darker green uh, material. I'll attempt to strip a bit off this and see what happens. Oh, that was easy that time. Right, this is the uh, this is the lumpy. I call it dark green lumpy wire. As you can see, the wire is isn't like a whole shield like it was on the darker on the uh, the light coloured stuff. It's only slightly wrapped around it. So I probably believe that this is going to be less. Uh, it's going to have a different resistance, it's not going to be uh, as wide banded. This is what I call the, like, the lumpy wire. You can make it out because if you can just see the, uh, the wires on the outside of it. So that gives it away as the one that's not, you can definitely feel them. This gives it the way as the one that's not the solid, solid, um, solid shielding as you'd, as you'd want. It's quite a thick wire. But um, still, I don't think it's going to be as good as the other one. Here we go inside. I'll um, get some of these wires off here for you. There you go. You can see there's not really that many wires involved in this antenna. It's a lot more Kevlar, which is probably uh, good for strength, but possibly not good for signal. So I would say, again, that the uh, the thickest the uh, Where's it gone? This stuff 
with the braid that goes all the way round it would uh, would make a lot a, a wider band antenna. Uh, 